Jean-David Levit, thank you very much for coming to WPC TV. It's a pleasure. You are now a great expert at the Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C., at Chatham House in London. But I think for most of us, what really counts is that you are a very effective French ambassador to the UN and also to the United States. So, a simple question. What do you think now of French foreign policy? Basically, there is continuity. And it's very important for the credibility of a foreign policy to have continuity. You have continuity with uh, President François Hollande in European affairs. Uh, basically, uh, the uh, Franco-German relation is as important as ever. But the Franco-British relation is also key, especially for defense and security uh, issues. And that was demonstrated in Libya. Of course, yes. But uh, now, in Africa, there is also continuity because after France's actions in Côte d'Ivoire and then in Libya, François Hollande decided to act uh, in Mali with great success and today uh, in Central African Republic. But, I mean, one could say that there's been a, a question mark over foreign poli French foreign policy because of the willingness to intervene in Syria and then, of course, the vote fast really, um, I suppose, required by the, the vote in the House of Commons in Britain and then the change of heart by President Obama. How has that played into French foreign policy? What's the reaction? Well, I think that uh, President uh, François Hollande was right to be tough after a massive violation of what was painted as a red line and presented as a border not to be crossed. When uh, in uh, August there was the massive use of chemical weapons against the people of Syria, it was only natural to react forcefully. So President Hollande was very clear, he was determined to act, but not alone, not alone. And what happened is that because of the vote in uh, the uh, parliament in the UK, because of the position of President Obama, his decision to go to uh, the Congress, it was not possible to act with allies and wisely uh, President Hollande decided that, uh, well, he would not launch missiles alone. Uh, France should not be alone, uh, ever. Uh, and if we are a bit alone today in Africa, uh, in Mali and especially in Central African Republic, it's very important that in the coming days and weeks uh, we get support, especially in Central African Republic, Next week, there will be a very important uh, European summit dedicated to defense and security. My hope is that the uh, 28 members of the EU will take bold decisions to be more active in foreign policy, security and defense issues. Keep our fingers crossed. One final quick question. Iran. Um, there was the agreement uh, at Geneva, the interim agreement. France, it appears, played let's call it hardball, but the agreement was reached. What do you think is going to happen now? Well, first, uh, I think it's a mistaken presentation to say that France was the toughest uh, player. What happened is that, yes, we had a number of issues. We fought for more clear uh, presentation, uh, but uh, uh, Secretary John Kerry uh, was also tough on other issues and when the text was presented to uh, the Iranian delegation it was presented not as the text cooked by one or two countries but uh, as the text adopted, endorsed, approved, supported by the P5 plus one countries. Uh, and then it was approved by the Iranian side. So now we have a deal, a deal for six months. It must be implemented fully. My guess is that there will be no breakthrough in the coming weeks and months. So there will be probably another six months because what is at stake is huge. 
my hope is that at the end of the day there will be a success story. It would be a transforming moment for the situation of Iran, for the whole Middle East, for the whole world. So we have to uh, join forces, we have to uh, hope that in Tehran they will have the vision and courage uh, to uh, adopt a bold policy uh, and let's cross fingers. Well, inshallah, as they would say in Tehran. Inshallah. Gentlemen, David Levitt, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.